Hello, my name is Eric, and today I'm going to tell you about my experience of 9-11. Welcome to the craziness that lives inside my head. We try, we love. September 11th, 2001. I woke up as usual on that Tuesday morning. I showered, brushed my teeth, got dressed, fed the cats, then jumped into my 1998 Malibu for work. I lived in the Bronx, New York, and I commuted to Stanford, Connecticut. As I parked my car in the newspaper, Stanford Advocate Greenwich Times parking lot in Stanford, the only thing that was on my mind was work-related reports left on my desk from the day before. The reports that were due on my boss's desk that morning. So I was preoccupied. I was, I was, I got there early, get in there and I had to do these reports. So it was around 9 a.m. that morning when it hit me as I was just about to finalize my reports. I didn't send my mom a birthday card. All morning, I had a nagging feeling that I forgot to do something and it wasn't the reports. It was the birthday card. Immediately, I called my mom in Virginia. I was befuddled on why every year, even as a kid, every year, I always forget to send my mom a birthday card. September 11th was like a mental block. Don't ask me why, it was like a mental block. After my greeting and wishing her a happy birthday, my mom gasped. Don't you know what's going on? No, I laughed. My mom always thought that I knew family gossip from Virginia, living in, Connecticut, living in the Bronx, which was uh, absurd to me. A plane crashed into the World Trade Center. What? I asked in disbelief. That was when I noticed fellow employees passing my office in the direction of the editorial room. I followed them. Then, then were, um, excuse my expression, there were four large television screens along the longest wall in the newsroom. And everybody was standing in front of these TV screens at what was happening in New York City at the World Trade Center. I mean, it was, it's interesting. I worked for a newspaper at the time and, I, and didn't know, half the time, I didn't know what was going on in the world. But I got so many reports to do. I was in research department. I'm always researching stuff. So this is this stuff that I should be researching, right? Okay. Just as I entered the room, I heard gasping and, oh my God, expression. Another plane accidentally crashed into the other tower, screamed at one of my employees. That's not an accident. I returned with a squirrel. I mean, that, I mean, I could see when one plane hit, that's an accident. But when the other plane hit, I said, no, that's not an accident. That's that was um you know that was purpose. Uh it was just I it was just it's interesting. I used to work on Wall Street in 1999. It was just 773 days ago, 1999, July of 1999. 773 days ago. I worked at the American Stock Exchange, a block away from the World Trade Center. It wasn't that long ago. That was shocking. 
it was just 773 days ago when the time between 8.46 a.m. and 9.03 a.m., I would have been in the lobby of number one World Trade Center online waiting to purchase my coffee. They had in the lobby of number one, they were selling coffee. Because, you know, they had a little coffee shop there. People, as they go to work, they would stop at the coffee and then go up to their office. I, I worked a, a block away, so. Well, in old and in disbelief, you could, I guess you could say, I shook with relief. Because it could have been me and the falling World Trade Center rubble. Then I felt a little embarrassment because I thought it was selfish to feel that way when thousands of people's lives were lost. And some of those people I found out months later that I have worked with them on the trading floor. Nothing was the same since 9-11. A group I belong to, GMA, Gay Men of the Bronx, yearly event, 9 or 12 gowns, had its last show that late summer of 2001, just before 9-11. I think we did the show, we did our show late that year. We used to do it in the spring. That year we did it pretty late. I was one of the producers, me and Daniel, we helped produce that show. That was the last show, right after 9-11. Right after 9-11, things change. We was trying to get together to do a show in 2002. It never, never happened. In fact, it was difficult just to get members to come to weekly, weekly. We had, used to have a weekly meeting or monthly meeting or events. We couldn't get nobody to come to the event. It's like, I don't know, maybe people was in culture shock. It just, things just change. I think a lot of New Yorkers who felt that their lives were well protected by the government had a rude awakening. Terrorism has woke up Americans. And there were no way of returning that genie back into a bottle. But things has changed a lot, especially in, in my opinion, especially in the gay community. I mean, I know it, the interesting thing was even in 2001, a lot of gays were going to bars. The The um, dating line on the internet wasn't called dating line. They called them um, bulletin boards. So I remember um, um, Mail Stop. M-A-L-E Stop. Mail Stop. It was a bulletin board. It was a bulletin board where, you know, like a bulletin board, if you want to find somebody, you, you go on that, I guess, that website and you put your whatever. And then it got more, after 2001, things got more sophisticated. In fact, there was, uh, just before 2001, um, 9-11, there was a lot of, um, if, you want, if you didn't want to go to the bars, or you didn't want to buy a gay magazine to, you know, advertise that you're looking for a date. Um, they had um, what you call it, uh, pen pals, which was very popular. They had pen pals, they had uh, phone sex, which you find in the gay magazine. You buy a gay magazine, they have this, I forgot which one it was. Uh, you call up and uh, you call into the system and you leave a message or something. And then they don't give out your phone number. You just call into the system. And then the system, if somebody will call in and looking for the same thing, the system will hook the system will hook you two up and call you to let you know to call the number back and the person was there waiting for, you know. So you call the number and then that's what happened. You um you have sex on the phone, phone sex. Now you if it's up to you if you want to give that person your phone number, but it's not necessary. You could do that and the phone, you know. So you had phone sex you had pen pals, you had the bulletin boards, the magazines, you had all that coming out. Because I think right after 9-11, a lot of people, 
And this is my opinion. I could be wrong. I don't have no idea how to, you know, I'm just saying. It seemed like a lot of gay men had calmed down going to gay bars, going to uh, what you call it, um, gay events. Oh, gay events. Because uh, gay men of the Bronx, we didn't have our yearly event. We had it for 10 years, a yearly event. But after 9-11, we couldn't get people to uh, participate and those events. And I just want to say things change. Terrorism change. Changed everything. Then, as you know, the internet got more popular. Very more popular. And I think it, well, I, I consider it laziness. Instead of getting off your ass and go, go looking, <laughs> The um, dating lines got more popular. Now, I'm not saying because of 9-11, that's why it's all happened. But I will say this. After 9-11, life changed. Change. It just changed. I can't say. I don't know how to put it. Things just change. Things change. It just change. I, I, I'm going to talk on another podcast about COVID. Things change, which was 20 years later. 20 years later with COVID. That's another thing that changed. But I'll leave that for another podcast. This podcast is about 9-11. Today I'm doing this. It's September 11, 2023. And I just wanted to get that out there. Because like I said in the beginning, something about September 11, I don't know. My mother's birthday was September 11. God bless her soul. And I could never remember her birthday. Well, now since for 20 years, I can remember her birthday because I got, they celebrate or remembrance of 9-11. I don't know, maybe, maybe that's sad. But anyway, thank you for listening to the craziness that lives inside my head. Oh, 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 oh,